<clears throat> oh, I need to close this. And we need to close that. All right. Oh, change these. All right, you guys. Oh, shit. Oh no. Oh no, where did it go? Oh, there it goes. Come here, you. Oh, our tool is trying to roll away. Tool is like, no, no. I don't want to stab things today. <coughs> Sorry, Mr. Duel. We have other plans today. Alright, well, we can clean that up in a minute. Alright, we're just a little out of um, frame here, so let's adjust that. Everyone's having a good day. <clears throat> Where's the bottom of my... What is that? What is... Oh, that's my book. My book. I got mad on a Friday. Oh, no, we're, we're going in the wrong direction. I got mad on Friday, right? Because um, we were playing Planet Zoo. And I needed to see something that was at the top of my screen. And um, my webcam was sitting right over top of it. So I got mad and slid the webcam over. And then I lost my position that I was in, so I was like, damn it. Alright. Oh, right, I forgot to do the other thing. Hold on one second. I have to stream on Firefox, but everything else I have is on Chrome. Because when I go into other um, streams, when we read at the end, a lot of times it throws the Twitch error up and I can't hear what people are saying to the read as we come in. I don't want to be rude or appear to be rude so since we're streaming in Firefox I always forget to go over to Chrome and uh, turn on the timers that need to be turned on or turned off lately. Alright, it's Sunday, you guys. Sorry for the slightly delayed start. I'm moving a little slow today. Not that that's anything grossly new, but here we are. Okay, we got our snippy snips, we've got our tool, we've got our project, we've got our pad. We have our tutorial that we've been following down there in the corner. Um, if you would like to go visit and watch the tutorial in its entirety with sound, it is on YouTube on the Bob Ross channel. And I am here. 
and um, there's the link to it. And right now we're doing season three, episode one, which we are almost done. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and hit play. We're sorry, motorcycle. We're close to where we left off. We might not be in the same exact spot, but we're close enough. And uh, we'll go ahead and hit play and see what we've got coming next. What is he doing? Oh, okay, so he's gonna grass in the corner and he's just touching up the grass on the edges there. Now what's he doing? porch? What? A porch? Bob. We don't have room for a porch, Bob. I hate to tell you this, Bob, but our cabin's not gonna have a porch. There's no way I can squeeze a porch in there. There's just no way. Well, the guy that built our cabin wasn't having a good day, so he's not going to be putting in a porch. Uh, there's just no, there's just no way I can squeeze in it. It's just not happening. He's putting in some sticky sticks. So sap green, what are you doing? Oh, okay, he's going back to highlight those trees that he didn't. We already did that. That's done. We did that early. Because we only put in the, the one big pine tree. What are you doing? Oh, I don't know if I can... Oh, I didn't even see that he'd put a window... Oh, well, we don't have the, the side view anyhow, so... A one inch brush. What are you doing? Van Dyke Brown. Bob, what are you doing? Uh oh. I'm concerned. <laughs> Is this going where I think it's going? I think it's going there. Oh! On that side? Robert! Robert! Maybe we won't be finishing today. I really thought we would be. Really? Right there, Robert? You couldn't have put it on, like, the other side? Where it feels empty? This one feels lopsided to me. Oh my. So we have to connect the path, not a big deal. We have to put a little bit of highlight on the path, that won't take long. This tree though, 
How are we? Okay. Oh boy. And then he's gonna go into the springy green. Or make the springy green color. Just gonna kind of huh. Now what are you doing? I feel like you're just dicking around at this point because you finished early. <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Okay, so he's just kind of, oh, yeah, he's just kind of dicking around. And then we got sticks coming up out of there. He's got like two minutes left. And then... Okay, so he's going to kind of sit the tree. Alright, that's fine. <clears throat> and some more sticky guys. And then he's going to sign it. Oh, he's signing it a little early. Okay, so um, let's try to get a we get a good overall I mean I guess if we just go to the end okay so technically there's not that much left oh, let's grab our camel color which was what we've been kind of using for our highlight. My goodness, Bob. All right. Just going to kind of stretch this out. Oh, right. Wait, wait, wait. We're getting ahead of ourselves. We need... Where is it? Sorry, I've got all these colors clipped to um, a setup behind me so I can grab them faster. Actually, this case might do. So we have to kind of connect this to here. I mean, we kind of did that already. Kinda. I mean, we made our path, um, we put a little bit of that cream on there that we used on the beach, but, I mean, we could just go back over it with the, with the brown. Kind of give it more of a a connected feel to it. So we're going to be skipping that porch because uh, there's there's no way. There's no way. I did not realize that there was a porch in there. So 
somehow I missed that detail. I'm just grabbing a bit of fluff and just kind of trying to twist it together a little bit just to get it to behave a bit better. Sorry, I thought my needle was grossly bent there for a second. I was like, oh, what's going on here? Don't want to use the bent needle, but for now it doesn't really look quite so so bented. Bented? Can that be a word? It's a word now. Our new word of the afternoon, half hour, five minutes, bented. It was bented. Correct word, I didn't know if it was bent. Without the ED, I know, I'm just being silly. Trust me, I have my share of, of grammar fuck ups. Like, I have Grammarly installed for when I have to write stuff but I'll tell you sometimes Grammarly feels wrong and sometimes I think it's confused so I would not rely fully on Grammarly um, but I would you know at least use it for giving you an idea to see if maybe you're you're correct or not Probably one more quick pass here. Make sure we got our finger protector guys on. Just gonna stabby stab our uh, belt here. So hope you all are having a decent afternoon. Hope you all had at least a semi decent weekend. We didn't really do much of anything. Um, I was attempting to work on our death night for. Um, our Wild Challenges stream on Wednesday. Um, things kept happening and uh, I kept getting pulled away for various reasons. I was also in the middle of cooking so that didn't help. I had to keep getting up and uh, going to check on um, how the food was doing. We made uh, spaghetti sauce because my supply in the fridge, or the freezer, rather, had been depleted, so. And it's the same sauce we use on our pizza when we make pizza, so. I was like, oops. We need to make more. And so we did. So I have leftovers tonight, so yay, I don't actually have to fully cook tonight. That's always fun. I just hate how much time it takes me to cook in the kitchen and how much of a mess I make. That's kind of irksome. Alright. I'm going to snip a section. These are just the shears that came with my toolkit when I got it. Um, regular scissors would probably work better. Just saying. I just want to fill this so 
section in a little bit better. I feel like we could do a little bit more here. All right, so I need to come back in and hit that one spot up there. We'll do that when we bring the green back out, or we could just hit it with a little bit of brown. We'd probably just hit it with a little bit of brown. Probably be our better option. So we're almost done this guy. Um, I do have plans to, um, to continue this season. And I think we'll be able to do most of them. I think we'll really only be skipping like maybe one. Oh, and for those that are new here, the clacking in the background is the husband. He has a mechanical keyboard. The magic of the mechanical keyboard follows and haunts your ears. It does. <laughs> it's what he wanted for Christmas. And after he got it, after he had already picked it out and it had been ordered, I said to him, I said, is this a quiet keyboard? I thought it was going to be. <clears throat> I'm never going to let that, let, let that sleep. And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I thought I picked a quieter one. I, yeah. I've never known a, a, of a quiet mechanical keyboard. So I was like, hmm, all right. So Mr. Clack Clack's over there. That's what that noise is. I am not able to type and stab this at the same time. So sometimes my microphone picks up his keyboard, sometimes it doesn't. It usually does though. All right, so I'm just kinda trying to cover up that spot really. Oh, we had the blue poking through. Oh, right. I'm not sure if we're going to have to add a little more green in that spot. We might. Well, I've seen how it looks. If it looks a little too out of place, then we will. Alright, back to over here. <clears throat> Alright, so now. That's right, this is what we were using last week. Grab my pencil sharpener. And I'm just going to smooth out the back just to try to get the weird bumpiness to chill out. It usually settles down after a little bit, but you don't have to do this. It's just something I do because it annoys me when it's all uneven and stuff. And it doesn't do a whole lot, but it helps it a little bit. So yeah, we might add just a little bit more of our grass going up into there, maybe. We'll see, because it does look a little bit noticeable in there. Okay. So, we're done with that for the moment. Hi, Zuzu. You are so jealous. You're a jealous, jealous pupper. Yes, he is. You... I swear it is because you're streaming. Yeah, it, at this point, because he's figured out that I'm talking to people. And he's like, no, you're not allowed to talk to anyone. Unless it is me. Alright. So 
so we'll just get a little bit of our camel color here and I kind of want it to be a little thinned out here because as we tap it in it's going to sink in and I think it'll give us just the right amount of color that we are looking for. Buddy, I gave you water and you have it. Hi. What's up? You can't nudge mom's hand while she's doing this. What can I do for you? Yeah, he's jealous because he keeps going to my hand for pets. One hundred percent, that's what it is. So this is a little more difficult to do one-handed. Um, it appears that we sort of can, but uh, don't you do it one-handed at home if you are attempting to do it. Buddy, I don't know what you want. Is it the fact that Ed's on the bed? Don't know what his deal is. It's a little early for him to want to go potty, isn't it? Mm. Again, it's just the fact that you've gotten him on the bed. Give him the buddy. Yeah, he like hears me talking and then he's like, no, 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 who are you talking to? Like Russell and I can't even sit on the bed. Actually, it doesn't even have to be on the bed. We just, we can't even like stand next to each other and he gets weird. He's like, no, no, no. He's like, what are you doing? You have to pay attention to me. And I'm like, no, this isn't the Zuzu show. It's not all Zuzu all the time. All right, so ours is a little different. A, because of the porch thing. And B, let's get this little stick in there. Um, cause we pulled our pathway down a little bit further over because I misjudged the angle they were showing the tutorial at when we were on that part. I was thinking it didn't come all the way over, but then the angle they had it at on the screen and we had it paused at that moment. Um, it looked like it did and I was like oh am I misremembering confusing this with a different tutorial you know sometimes my brain decides to uh, fuck up and throw the wrong the wrong uh, the wrong cue card, shall we say, into existence. And um, I just kind of went with it because I was like, oh, it is going all the way across. Okay. And after we put our dirt all the way across, they zoomed out or changed the camera angle on us. And then I was like, oh no, wait, <laughs> it didn't go all the way across. I was like, fuck. Like, well, it's there now. So, uh, we'll just have to cope with that. And that's fine. That's really not that big of a deal. Alright, just want to make sure that we're getting 
all of our spots in there. This one shouldn't be that, that bad to um, even out as we put this in because um, we're not putting a thick amount through. So. So maybe through here. Alright. So last week we had gotten on to the topic of uh, ghost stories. don't know if they're real um, I can't say for certain there's been no scientific proof that I'm aware of that they do for certain exist so take it as you will um, no judgment here. All I can say is that I've experienced some shit. Can't definitively say whether it's it's ghosts or leftover traumatized energy don't know don't know if we'll ever know because no one's been able to ever come back and tell us not not definitively not like you know oh look I'm was I was alive then I was dead and then I'm alive again you know it doesn't really quite work that way um, so don't know don't know how to explain it But um, yeah, I, I've, I've had some things happen to me in uh, my existence so far here, so don't, don't know what to uh, consider that. Um, I'm sure a lot of people probably think I'm full of shit, and you know what? That's uh, your opinion. I don't have a full-on meltdown when I'm watching like other quote-unquote investigations on TV because a lot of it's been you know faked and and over exaggerated to you know make compelling TV to make people tune in so because you know you can't make if they're real you, you can't make you know these whatever they are, energy, entities, whatever. You can't just make them perform on a dime, so they do what they're gonna do when they wanna do it, and that's all there is to it. So, I mean, you can't necessarily always make them do stuff just because a camera showed up, right? So, yeah, so, um, yeah, I know, I've had some very odd occurrences over the years. Um, we talked about, about how I was at the friend's house and, uh, kind of was talking to somebody in her kitchen that looked, I assumed was her grandmother. And, um, she's like, no, there's nobody else here. I'm like, well, I was talking to somebody in your kitchen. And she freaked out and ran upstairs and she got up there and there's like, there's nobody here. I'm like, well, I don't know what to tell you. I know what happened. Um, so we talked about that last week. This week, we can talk about one of the places I used to live. Um, back in Jersey. I think we talked about it a little bit um, before, but I don't know how in depth we went. Actually, we might have talked about it off. But um, 
yeah, we lived on this property that had been built on a Victorian era stable yard or stable or Victorian era oh, was it a mansion. I don't know what the fuck it was, but it had a stable behind the house. And there was a sign on the house because a lot of people thought it was a bed and breakfast. And um, because there was a sign hanging up out front that called it an inn. And um, it said, you know, established 18 something. I don't remember the full date on it now. Um, so people were always constantly stopping and like, is this an inn? Is there vacancies? Because, you know, the place looked kind of cool. And it's like, oh, yeah, no. It's actually an apartment building. So I, I don't know if they ever took that sign down. But I, all, all of us that lived on the property kind of got tired of it. It was a little bit annoying. Um, but the stable barn thing... I guess it was just actually a stable, had been um, on the property behind the house. And it wasn't that far from the house. It was pretty close. If that was the original house location, I don't know. Um, and there was, it had burned down at one point. So the barn was no longer there. Barn stable yard. It was gone. However, there were areas where there was wooden planks still in the ground sticking out. Like just under the, um, the dirt, the ground, in certain areas. Um, which was kind of strange. And, um, I was like, oh, I mean, they didn't look like burnt pieces of wood, it just looked like scattered pieces of wood. So, I don't know if, um, what all was there from all that time or, you know, what that piece of wood was for. It was just strange. Um, anyhow. I don't think at the time we knew that this, the that there had been a stable there and that it had, it had uh, burned down at the time. At least I didn't know. Yeah, you know what? We did talk about this because I remember talking about the installation. Um, so are they okay? Yeah, been sick. Oh, okay. Um, so it would be weird and, you know, I would have dreams of, like, where we were being on fire and, like, burning to the ground and flying out the window on a mattress with a babysitter. And it was always very bizarre. But, you know, it, it would always involve fire. And I think that was before I was aware that the place had burned down, which was really kind of creepy. But, um, and then, you know, I had a dream one night. I don't know if it was actually a dream or if I actually saw what I saw. Um, it could have just been a weirdness where, uh, because we live next to a train station. And when the trains went through, stuff would vibrate. But this was the one and only time that something popped off my wall that was being held up with a thumbtack, even though stuff would vibrate a little bit when the train would come through. The only time. Um, I had this little thing hanging up on the wall and it, I woke up to seeing a person riding a horse go running through my room and jump into the wall. And as it went through the wall, the thing that was hanging there fell to the ground. Don't know. Can't explain it. Don't understand what that was about. Um, a train had come through around the same time, maybe a few moments after. But it was very bizarre. Don't know what that was about. 
Um, very strange. It was definitely eyebrow raising to say. Probably nothing more than just the thumbtack vibrating loose, but I had other stuff that had been thumbtacked that never moved. Very strange. Um, I had a Teddy Rupskin. And I had a Mickey Mouse that was similar to Teddy Rupskin as well. They both did the same sort of thing. Um, where you'd put the little tape in and he would move his mouth and tell a story and stuff. And I liked him at first. And then as time went on there, it would be the middle of the night. And all of a sudden... I would hear the noise of the gears shifting and his mouth opening or closing and I'm like, what? He's turned off. The batteries are actually dead. Like he wouldn't play anymore. Now it could have just been like a weird mechanical, mechanical thing where you know sometimes where you overwind a music box it will suddenly start to unwind. Um, to correct itself sometimes and you'll hear like a little ping of music or whatever like two notes I had a I had a stuffed animal that did that too um, that for a long time in that house well hold on let's let's finish with Teddy Rupskin so um, it got to the point where I was so terrified of, of the bear that I hid him in the back of my closet under a whole bunch of shit and just kind of buried him because I couldn't take it any longer. It was freaking me out too bad. Um, then, um, then the mouse. I had this little tiny stuffed mouse um, that I had had since I was a baby. I think I only recently got rid of it. I don't know if that came with us. I don't know if that would count as recent at this point here. Yeah, true. We've been here for a while. But, um, I don't know if that came with us or not. I have no idea, dear. I haven't laid eyes on it, and I knew, I know when we moved, we were being selective, and it was really ratty looking. Um, and I don't think the music box played anymore, anyhow. But, um, it was a little... I mean, it, it might be in the box of all of the, uh, the globes that you don't take out. Well, I've got nowhere to put them safely. <laughs> It's not that I choose not to take them out, I can't take them out. Because Cow is an asshole. And I've got nowhere to safely put them. Because I can't replace them anymore. I know San Francisco Music Box Company had um, some kind of warranty thing, lifetime, or if something happened to them, um, they would replace it. But I don't think they make those ones anymore. Um, a couple of them might have been limited editions, to be perfectly honest. So while they might replace it with something, I don't... I don't even know if those things still have water in them, to be perfectly honest. Um, but, uh, yeah, so it was this little stuffed mouse. And it had a music box inside of it. And when you wound up the music box, it would play Three Blind Mice. And, um, had it forever. When we were in that location, somehow it got wound too tight and it wouldn't play anymore. And I was kind of bummed, but I decided to hold on to it. And every so often from my closet, you would hear a ping, ping, ping from the music box in it. And I was like, mm, okay. I didn't care for that. So then that became something else I buried in my closet. Um, oddly enough, a year after we moved out of there, I had come across it again when I was cleaning. This was... I guess about a year. And it started playing again normally. And I'm like, oh, okay. Somehow it wasn't overwound or anything anymore. And I'm like, all right. Sure. But, uh, I mean, that was just very strange. My mom would have, my mom would put socks down 
and come back to put them on and one would be missing. She'd search high and low. She'd yell at me for taking them. I'm like, I wasn't even in your room. I didn't even know you had socks out. What the fuck are you talking about? And um, she would find them in a completely different room. Or one of them in a completely different room. Um, we had a smoke detector that would constantly go off that was hardwired into the house's wiring. Um, whenever we turned the oven on. Nothing was burning, nothing was smoking, it was just whenever we turned the oven on. It, it was bizarre because it was linked to the smoke detector that we had downstairs in our laundry room. And they would both go off at the same time. It, it was... It was an experience living there, let me tell you. Um, just all kinds of stupid shit constantly happening. Um... I'm going to put a little bit of our grass in here and then we'll do our tree. But, uh, it was, uh, something. <clears throat> and, um, didn't have anything else happen when we were living at a new spot. Nothing of significance kind of started to forget about stuff and then there was you know then that incident happened at my friend's house with the whole grandmother and kitchen table thing that was or dining room table that was bizarre and um, then nothing happened again for a while and my grandfather, my pop pop, he had been a heavier guy. And he had all kinds of shit wrong with him. Um, I think he might have had lung cancer and just a whole bunch of other stuff. He had a pacemaker put in. Um, all kinds of things. Like, I remember he had, like, dots on his chest from them doing radiation, like, blue dots, like, almost tattooed on, so they knew where to line up the, uh, the treatments and shit for him. And, um, you know, I, I didn't really understand a whole lot then. I think I was in fifth grade at that point. And, you know, they didn't really tell me all that much. But when he passed away, um... After he passed away, maybe not right away, but a little while, when I would stay there, I would stay in his room. Because I don't know what it was. For some reason, my grandparents had separate bedrooms. Um, I don't know if that was the thing then. It was. I don't know if they did it because he was sick and... No, it, it was a thing for that generation, apparently. Like, at one point, they had to have had the same bedroom, though, because that was the house that my dad grew up in, and my dad had a sibling, so him and the sibling had to have shared a bedroom, and they didn't, like, they weren't in the basement, because that basement room was her sewing room, so they would have had to have had that front bedroom that was so small. Um, I don't think you ever saw, no, that house was long gone before you ever... Mm -hmm were in the picture and um but I guess they went back to separate bedrooms when the kids were out of the house I don't know um they kind of just did their own thing together kind of um and uh he would walk a very specific pattern and a very specific route to the bathroom from his room And, um, since he was a heavier guy, it was an old house. So whenever he walked through, the floor would creak in a specific spot. Well, <laughs> there were nights that I stayed over there. And I swear to God, because he had a very slow walking gait because of him not feeling well and stuff. 
you'd be laying in bed and you would hear the floor creak in this spot, a few moments later in this spot, a few moments later in this spot, like it was somebody slowly stepping along, leaning on their cane, walking through the house. And it was so bizarre. You'd get up and you'd look, nobody's there. And it, it really was in the same exact pattern that he would walk in. Because I remember laying awake at night when they were both alive and I was sleeping in my grandmother's room and you know you'd hear him get up to go to the bathroom and always in the same spots it's just very strange can't explain it but part of me secretly <laughs> hopes that they that he was um, kind of haunting the house I guess because the people that ended up buying it when my grandmother died and they put it up for sale kind of totally destroyed the house <laughs> like not just you know some simple renovations or anything it's um looks damn it don't look anything like it did and not in a good way um <laughs> I'm sure my grandmother was pissed because she prided herself on the appearance of that house and the curb appeal on it and she had this six foot tall um, red, well it wasn't red to begin with, she had this six foot tall wooden fence that surrounded the property uh, for the most part. No, yeah, it almost completely surrounded it. Um, it, the house sat on a double lot, right? So that's a lot of fence. A double house lot worth of wooden fence on the interior of the lot. And then she had a, a chain link fence that surrounded the, like on the property line itself. Um, but they had a, a, this wooden fence that kind of blocked off the backyard and went around the back of the property. Every spring, Every spring I'd be out there having to help her paint this fucking fence. <laughs> oh my word. Well into her her um, 70s we were out there painting the fence. At least the sides that we could get to. That was a bitch of a project, let me tell you. I was like, do we really have to do this? She's like, yes, like it had to be painted. It had to be, it had to look good. There was no skimp in there. And she had these dogwood trees she planted in the front yard. And there was a big old, I don't know if it was oak. What drops acorns? Oak trees? I don't know what kind of... this. It didn't drop acorns. I don't think it really dropped much of anything. It was just this big old tree. And I don't know what kind of tree it was, but the bark would peel on it. It wasn't a birch tree. Um, it was too thick for that. But um, it, it was a good thickness trunk on it. And... You know, as it got into fall, yeah, I guess as it got into fall and winter, there would just be sections of the bark that would just fall off. But it was very smooth, so I, I don't know what kind of tree this was. It was strange. But um, everything had to be meticulous. She'd be out there edging the grass along the walkway. Um, she even had a little concrete walkway that went up to where the, um, the, uh, the spout, the, the hole for the access to her oil tank for the furnace was. And, um, 
that was like always manicured and she had bushes everywhere and at one point they had a garden in the back um like a vegetable garden that took up one whole huge section back there um i think they were growing corn back there at one point i have a hazy memory of that and then I guess that was, I, that might have been my grandfather's project though, because I think after he got too sick to deal with it, um, that section became all grass. Um, she had an above ground pool put in and she had a tub at the bottom of the ladder to go to get into the pool because um, she didn't have a deck around it. So, like, you were climbing up the ladder from the grass. Oh, and God help you if you didn't rinse your feet off in this tub of water before you climbed the ladder. <laughs> You're getting dirt in the pool! So, <laughs> it was... Uh, you, had to, you had to rinse your feet before you got in the pool or else there was hell to pay. Um, she had a flagpole that she'd be putting a flag up on and raising it every day and taking it down at night. I think my grandfather was a World War II veteran though. I feel like he was. I feel like he was a mechanic. I think there's pictures of him near an airfield. I remember with airplanes. I think he was a mechanic on the airplanes to be perfectly honest. I don't know if he flew them, but I think he at least worked on them. They didn't really talk about it, so don't really know for sure. It was just never discussed. Dad might know. Maybe. But, uh, those two were quite a pair. And it's funny because I spent so much time at their house, but I never saw any of the other family while I was there. And you just kind of would have expected you would have. Hey. What's up? You just went potty. You just went potties. And this isn't food. See? It's wool. I don't have food. You don't even want to smell it. You just want me to pet you. This is a jealousy thing. Buddy, go lay down. You had a dentist stick. You had... You had, um... Outside time with Dad. You're good now. You're good for a little bit. I promise. Go on. Um, yeah, all the time I spent there, never saw any of the other family stop by for a visit, which is kind of strange. I don't know if they were avoiding the property at the times I was there. Which seems kind of odd. But um, it, it was very strange to say the least I think once in a while we would pop over and you would see like my uncle's kids so I guess an aunt no I guess they'd be cousins um you would see them there with their kids sometimes, but not very. I do know I'd get mad when I'd see them there because I had a swing set there before she had the pool put in because we didn't have anywhere to put it because we were renting. So she let us put it there. So I had like a swing set to play on and stuff. And I, the one day we came over and I saw them and they were all over my swing set. I got so mad. I'm like, they're on my swing set. I was so upset. And, um, 
They weren't playing on it gently either. They were roughhousing all over it. I was like, they're gonna break my swings out. I remember being very upset. Um, I had that swing set till it rusted out too. We ended up having to move it off of there and we put it where we were renting. And then the salt air just kind of got to it because it, we were right on the back bays in South Jersey, so that put an end to that pretty quick. Plus there was all kinds of ticks out there, so my mom really didn't want me out there playing. Ticks and um, green heads. Oh, those fuckers hurt when they bit. Let me tell you. Alright. So we're just grabbing some more of this, but they would take, we would go to the Ocean City Boardwalk in Ocean City, New Jersey a lot um, when my grandfather was still able to go do things. And um, we would rent like the Surrey bike. I remember doing that at least once. I don't remember really being on the beach, but I remember us going on the boardwalk. So yeah, if you guys know any decent boardwalks that you like to go to, if you've been to any, let me know. Because the only ones that, the only one I've really been to was um, Ocean City, New Jersey. Maybe someday we might do a boardwalk road trip. Oh. Also, let me know if there's any zoos or aquariums that you think are awesome and totally worth the entrance fee to go check out. I've got a few on my list. Like, we go to Tulsa every now and then um, when we can scrape together the money to go. And but, to yeah, and the husband's able to go, um, which is few and far between. Um, and they it got especially more difficult when they added the reservation system. Um, because that just kind of puts more pressure on needing to be functional on that day. But, um, you know, let me know. We've gone past the signs for the Little Rock Zoo, but I don't know if it's really worth going to. Um, we have the zoo in Oklahoma City on our list to go see eventually, maybe someday on a wish list. A hypothetical wish list. You know, everybody makes those lists where, you know, oh, I want to go do this someday. Probably won't ever happen, but, you know, you still make the hypothetical list anyhow. And we've got um, the aquarium in Atlanta. Because I've seen videos from that place and it looks kind of cool. Um, we were really excited to go see the aquarium that they put in in Branson, but it turned out to be pathetic after it opened. Um, it did not turn out to be anything like we were thinking it was going to be. And the price is way too much for what's there. $40 for like a half hour of time being there and that's if you dick around hard enough. Like it looked worse than the one in um, in Jenks, Oklahoma, in Tulsa. It, it, cause we went to that one and we were a little unsure. But it actually didn't end up being that bad. It was a pain in the ass to get to. Um, but, 
you know, we weren't like thoroughly disgusted and disappointed when we left, but um, from what I understand, the, wor the one in Branson is like 20 times worse, so we, we won't be going to that one after all. That one's been taken off of our list. But, um, yeah, no, if you have one that you like to go to, we've been to the Cape May Zoo. That was decent. I think that was a free zoo. I think we just had to pay the park or gave a donation or something. Yes. Oh, it was before we left. Yeah, because they actually let us take the car. We drove down there. Oh, in New Jersey. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. That's my confusion. Yeah. Wow, I had totally forgotten about that. Like we, it was cold when, when we were there. It wasn't winter, but it was cold. Maybe it was a couple of months before we left, but we did go do that. It might have been like early spring or something. We actually had a day off together or some shit. I think it was the year that we moved because um, we probably would have tried to go back more. I don't remember when we got your dad. It's been a long time I remember. I don't think we went then. Maybe that was when we went. No, it was when we visited your mother on behalf of your, your brother. Oh, right, right. Yeah. That's when that was, because we needed something to do, because I remember it being cold. Because I remember us being bundled up. But we could not sit in that house. Because we were going stir crazy. Because there was nothing for us to do. So we were just kind of looking for shit to dick around that wasn't sitting in the house. So the trip was kind of pointless because they didn't even go with us. had some uh, brown breakthrough there, so I'm just kind of trying to fix that. Or some uh, green, uh, not green, blue. No, say the right color, damn it. Um, I had some blue kind of breakthrough there a bit. So since our pathway is a little bit different, We're gonna have to uh, add a little bit more in the spots here. And that's fine. Yeah, that really shouldn't be much of an issue at all. I still think we'll be uh, done today, or at least pretty damn close. Alright, so I'm gonna grab some more of our springy green here. What is that? I don't know what that was. It almost looked like a piece of glitter nap fiber or something. Alright, so we just need to put a little bit more grass in here. 
So yeah, we have the Aquarium in Atlanta on our list. Um, I think there's also a zoo in Atlanta that I threw on the list because I was like, well, we're going to be there. Hypothetically. So if, if we make it there to do the aquarium, we might as well do the zoo while we're there. If we ever go. Big if. I definitely want to see the aquarium in Clearwater, Florida. That looks like it's a pretty decent size. So that's on our list. And there's a zoo in Tampa that I'd like to see. Don't know if we'll do Bush Gardens if we ever make this trip. Um, because I can't I can't really do rides. Russell's really not gonna do rides. So it would just be more to see the animals and I don't know. That entrance fee might be a bit much just for that. It would depend. It would depend. Like if we're able to go at Christmas and we can see the Christmas stuff and and things maybe. I definitely have a a Christmas season bucket list trip that I want to do for SeaWorld. To see their little light show that they do on the lake with the trees and everything. We had just missed that when we went to SeaWorld. Um, it would be four years ago this October. Like I think two weeks later they had set everything up so I was like damn. But uh, we actually had a delightful time at SeaWorld. That was lovely. Um, it also helped that we got a really good deal on our tickets. We found a ticket. They had um, tickets on sale for 50% off. So that was wonderful. And we had a hotel that was like maybe a 20 minute walk over. It was a uh, partner hotel with them. It was right there. Oh, what the hell was it called? Double Tree at SeaWorld. That was a lovely property. I think there was two, two different pools. All kinds of fire pits all over the place. Places to sit outside and just chill. That was lovely property. They had, um, it was like a resort, so there was like, mi um, I don't know if it was full on mini golf or if it was just a couple little putty thingies. Um, we weren't able to do it because we didn't have time to when we were there, but um, if we ever make it back there to stay there again, totally gonna actually partake in some of that stuff. So we didn't really have time to even get in the pool, really. Because we had driven up there. So we were on our way back from uh, Key West. That's all we just we didn't really like we were tired and um we were kind of I know I was bored the fuck out by then. We were kind of toast after walking around in the park all day. And someone had to be with the dogs so like we let your mom go do some shit or something. When we came back and we kind of had dinner and then we had to leave the next day so But it was a nice property. It was big. It was very big.
Okay, so I'm just kind of trying to stick our path, edge our path a little bit. Kind of not necessarily seed it, but just gotta give it a little more. purpose. I don't know if we're going to take the grass all the way across. We might do a section here where we don't have anything and then bring it back up into here. I am like right on the edge of the pad though. I don't know why I do this to myself. We should like move up on the pad a bit. We're not really Disney people. Um, I, I can't justify paying Disney prices. I just can't. It's just too much money. Um, and uh, there we go. And um, not really generally theme parky people. There's some fairs I'd like to see eventually, maybe. If we're ever given the opportunity to do so but I believe I was at the aquarium in Miami some years ago I don't remember a whole lot of it I tried to block out any time spent with my one sibling um it was a very rushed affair. I think we were strictly killing time till our flight back to New Jersey. And she's like, oh, let's stop here. And I'm like, what? I think there might be a picture or two floating around from us being there. But I don't think we really had time to do anything because we had to get back to Fort Lauderdale. Like, it made no sense while we were stopping there. But then again, I don't know if I was really aware of when we had to be back to the airport by. I think I was just kind of being like, all right, well, this is your thing. I think I was just along for the ride. Honestly, the only reason I ended up on that trip was so that she could con my mom into watching her cat. Because her original cat sitter fell through or something, and her original travel partner couldn't go last minute or some shit. I know, the whole thing was very strange. And all we did was sit on the beach. That's like all we did was sit on the beach or sit at the pool. And I was so fucking bored. I mean, like we would go to dinner and stuff and we would do a little bit of shopping when we would go to dinner. But other than that, I was kind of bored out of my mind just sitting there. I did not come prepared to be just sitting somewhere so I didn't really have anything to read or anything to do and I wasn't really a let's just lay out in the sun and burn to a crisp kind of person so like I don't mind being at the pool 
most of the time because I can get up and get in the pool and and some things but I kind of had to be tied to her while we were there so I couldn't really go and do stuff I did do Disney when I was like 10. I know a lot's changed since then um, and not necessarily for the better. So yeah, I just, I can't justify the prices for the long lines. When they were doing like not so many people in the park while things were still unsettled, um, then I understood the, the, the point of the reservation system at that point. And I was like, okay, that's cool because you can actually go and do stuff. Like, people were actually excited because, you know, they were able to get on rides without, you know, waiting two hours to get on one ride and then, you know, their day being done. Oh, we managed to get three rides in. It's a banner day. And I'm like, that's dumb. You paid how much to come into this park to stand in line for two and a half hours to ride one ride? Do you understand how stupid that is? Like, I just can't. I can't with that. I couldn't stand in line for two hours anyhow. I, I would go insane. But, um, hats off to those of you that can. I, I, I can't. There, there is no ride to me that would be worth that. So, when they started, you know, upping capacity and now like the reservations are just you know like normal park capacity and I'm just like then why do we have reservations still that's kind of ridiculous if, if reservations are going to be capped at normal park capacity anyway eh, what's the point but um the point is to stress you out to try to make a reservation I guess. But no, I liked I liked SeaWorld. Um I'd like to go and see Old Town again. Is this Nope, that's touched, okay. So that's gonna be trimmed up down there. Alright, so we're gonna put a little bit more grass in here along the bottom. Um Yeah, I'm not sure. We've heard some things about a zoo in Dallas or two zoos down Dallas way. Um, that's not that far, for, well, not that far. Um, it's within a day's drive of us. I think it's like a four to six hour drive. So that might be added to our list. Um, a new thing I added to our hypothetical list of places that we probably won't ever go to, but you know, it's fun to to look at places would be um, Gatlingburg, Tennessee. That's a little more our speed <laughs> for the most part. Like around here everybody goes to um, Silver Dollar City and Branson and stuff and um, we can't really do the, the rides so I can't justify the cost. Like, I just can't. Maybe one day? A cat fight! Cat fight? Inside or outside? Inside. That was a cat fight. Sorry, one second.
Sorry about that, guys. We had to go deal with that. They're not behaving. Two of them are getting snippy with each other. And we don't really know who the instigator is at this point. We don't know if they're fighting over food. We don't know why they're fighting. We don't know if it's a dominance thing so we decided to separate the one one of the instigators and put them in timeout with the other one so now we have two cats in timeout Because it's been escalating the past couple of days and I don't know what the deal is. The one female really didn't like this male. They're all fixed. And I haven't really caught the beginnings of the fights. I've only caught the middle or the end of them. But, uh... I don't really know if it's centered around the food bowl because that particular male will come in here and she'll just start hissing at him on sight. She's never really liked him. I don't know if it's because they both want to be, like she is very much alpha female, very much. I don't know if that's what it is. Can't really say. But something's going on between those two. had to go and, and deal with that. Alright. Yeah. I think we need another little patch here. take this over in this way. You know, I mean, it doesn't need to be all manicured. It should be a little overgrown and maybe sections where it's missing. It's okay, I came up with an idea for another project. But I kind of have to sketch it out first because I'm not sure how I want to proceed with it. But it did give me quite an idea for an upcoming piece to work on. Alright, so this guy needs to be rolled out. He's kind of all over.
Okay. Just kind of making our fiber sneak here. And, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll go like in here with another bit of uh, grass here sticking up. Now Bob has done brown for um, his sticks coming up. I might go gray just because there's an awful lot of brown in here. Just to kind of break up the color. Because you know sometimes when you just see sticks sticking up, they're kind of like a grayish hue, grayish tone. Because they're kind of dying. Or they're already dead and kind of just there. one and it's okay if it comes off the bottom just a little bit because we're gonna be a little wobbly when we clean up our edges here so this is definitely something because of the size and because we were kind of on the edges um, that you'd probably want to frame with a mat Because the mat will give you a crisp, straight edge um, when you lay it on top. It's hard to get that 100% um, that straight edge when you're working on the edges. Because, you know, they pull in and stuff. So next project we might go a little bit smaller just to try to get the a cleaner edge. At least that'll be the idea. I'm not sure how much smaller we'll go. This we excuse me, we tried to do 8 by 10, but The felt I bought was supposed to be like 9 by 12, so in theory we could have fit 8 by 10 on here, but it was a little off in its 9 by 12-ness, so that didn't quite work out as planned. fiber somewhere. Right, you can kind of see the, the picture on the back side of there. Kind of. Alright. So let's grab another set of fluff here. a little bit in here. I kind of like these breaks in here. That way it 
it's not fully manicured. You know, if it is by the lakeside, it's gonna not be a manicured path. It's gonna be doing what it wants. And I might be felting directly into the pad there. No, we were still on the edge. Okay. Alright, try to get a little bit of height difference here. We're going to have to go back in and add a little bit more. Well, I don't know. I don't know if we really need to add a little bit more in there. I kind of like... It's growing on me. I don't like what's happening over there now. Finish putting that in. And maybe we'll get one more little sneaky guy out of this. Might be able to. Let's see here how this plays out. Uh, I might need to do one more piece stick it up there now it kind of looks like I'm trying to put in like a flower or something I mean we could add in some little dots for wildflowers but I don't know Might be a little, a little much with what we got happening already. I'll see where we're at for time. I might not do that. coming up over the path. It just kind of sinks it back just a little bit. Alright, let me see. Try to snip that. I'm going to have to get the scissors out soon anyway, but actually I think I do have a pair kind of nearby. So we're going to need to use those soon to uh, clean up our edges here. Like, I'm okay with this being a little willy-nilly thicker or thinner. It gives it a little more non-manicured look, I guess. Just kind of 
move that out there. Okay, so that's kind of where we're at there. Now we have to finish doing some things and stuff over here. So just kind of the same bit of uh, sneaky stuff over here. kind of fill this in a bit. Try to keep some of our dirt going in there in between. could like wisp some of it out like we did in there but I don't know do what you want ultimately it's whatever is gonna make you feel happy happy with it, then good. Mission accomplished. Grab a little bit more of this stuff. We'll still have to put that tree in. Oh, Bob. Bob and that tree. to see the different blades of grass if we were doing some other colors, but You can kind of see it. Alright, so we've got a little bit more stuff. We're just going to kind of try to fill in this area a bit. And we don't want it solid filled though. Well, I don't. If you do, that's you. Trying to keep a little bit of our brown poking through.
kind of like it a little bit patchier in here, but we still have that tree we kind of have to fit down in here somewhere, but we'll deal with that tree in a minute. I can't believe how warm it's supposed to be here tomorrow. I'm not even sure if it's warm or chilly out today. I haven't really been outside yet. I know it's windy. I'll tell you that much. It's kind of always windy here, though. At least lately. was trying to separate but it didn't really want to so that's okay we will just roll it on together uh, we just have some thicker section though that's all Making sure that we're still in the camera frame because I'm good at sliding off frame and not realizing it. So tonight, after dinner and house chores, my ass needs to get back to work on our death night for Wednesday because I still have to get the druid ready. I'm a little behind this week. Not quite sure how that happened. And I don't know if we are doing um I don't know yet if we're doing our wild well challenges stream on Wednesday this week. I got to look at the weather cuz Tuesday and Wednesday, or Tuesday into Wednesday, or Wednesday into Thursday, some point this week they're calling for thunderstorms. It might be on Wednesday, so we're, we might have to play that by ear, because it kind of depends on what time they're thinking they're going to come in. Um, we'll see. We will definitely see. Definitely getting there. We don't have that much further to go. We just have um, to finish putting in this bit of grass here and then that tree. But things that shouldn't take that long do have a way of taking that long. So uh, that's why I said, you know. No promises that we're going to finish today, but we're going to try. Just getting some more of our green 
set up here. So I am trying to get, um, I have plans to get some more yarn. It's probably not going to happen for a while, but eventually we'll get our hands on some more yarn, like some more colors. And um, we'll be able to do some more things and stuff. Since this is going fairly well, I think. some guys in here. I had that big awkward chunk, I just didn't feel like snipping it again. So the next one in season three's tutorials um, is one of his black canvases. Now, I'm not going to start out with a black piece of felt because I think it would look funny with only certain parts um, colorized with like flat black behind it. I think it would be a little strange. Um, but I do have black yarn to help us along in that endeavor. So we'll see what we can do with it. I don't think it's really going to be an issue. I'm not actually sure how many black canvases he does in this one. Um, I feel like there's at least two, if not three, but one of them we're skipping, so I just don't have the yarn colors for it. And I don't think we can pull it off with this and still um, have the same kind of feel to it. We're not going to fill in every inch of brown over here. We're going to fill in a little bit of it. Just not every last bit. get some sort of dirt separation and stuff. Alright, I'm gonna pull this up just to make sure that we're not too stuck. Alright. Now, let's 
see where the Another couple of pieces down in here. Just because there is a bit of a gap happening. Like a, a bigger gap. Just a little bit more in this spot. Down here on the edge. Well, as much as we can, because it is on the edge, so. We'll see how that goes. Wouldn't this be fun to turn into a puzzle? I think that would be all kinds of fun. There we go. I saw it. There it goes. Don't know what that was. And now I don't see it. I tried to pull it off. It almost looked like a weird blue cyber, but not really. We got our area of oh see finger protectors for the win. It didn't actually hit me that time. It didn't go through. It it hit the protector. I felt it hit the protector, but it didn't actually hit my finger. All right, that looks like that's good and. Attached in that section. All right, now I do want to put just a little bit more of this, not a lot, just a couple pieces. back edge of our path here because there's a little bit of a of a gap. That I'm not exactly feeling.
that's probably good enough in there. Probably. Container. Not quite done with that container yet, but at least it will be tipped away and off to the side. Now we have to deal with this tree. And he kind of takes it all the way to the top. So. You find that interesting so let's see what we can do with this we're gonna have to do it in smaller sections so that we can kind of outline it so if we start it here Oh wow, okay. I don't know if we can get this tree in actually. Oh, hi Zuzu, hi. Zuzu's back, guys. Zuzu is back. I mean, we could put it here and kind of put it in front of the cabin. It would sort of be blocking the view of it. Um, it's just since we placed our cabin at a slightly different angle than Al, his, it's going to be a little more difficult to get this guy in here. Hmm. Do we want the cap or do we want the tree? I'm not sure I want the tree. I mean, I know he has it. I'm, I'm, I'm undecided about this. I don't, I honestly feel like it's going to be too much. And that that side of the, the piece is going to feel too heavy. To be perfectly honest. I'm thinking we're going to skip the tree. Because I just, I don't have enough room to properly squish it in there. And if we like put it around here, it's gonna block a bit of the cabin and all of our work that we did on that. I'm thinking we're gonna skip it. And Bob's always like, well, you know, do what you want. You want the tree, you put the tree. You don't want the tree, then don't put the tree. So I think we might skip the tree. Um, yeah. All right. I was thinking we were gonna have to readjust the sky though a little bit maybe, but maybe not. It's not like a drastic adjustment. There was just a couple of spots. Where it kind of looked like some of the felt was poking through, but not anything super, super drastic. 
Okay. So. Our moment of scissor time. All right. This is the scary part. because I can't cut in a straight line. And I don't have a guillotine that I can just slap this on. And uh, slice down. This is going to be a little bit scary. And it's going to be a bit uneven, I'm afraid. Actually, hold on one second. Oh, okay. One second. This one's gonna be really super awkward. So I picked up this cheap Jensi frame from Dollar Tree. I was originally going to, I was like, oh yeah, I'll put it in here. And then I realized it's too thick. It's not going to fit. Um, at least it's not going to fit with the glass. But there's not much room for error behind this thing without the glass. So... So, right, let me move our pad here for a second. Alright. It is so thick. that my scissors are actually struggling. To trim off some of that edging. Now, like you can tell where we overlapped our edge a bit and where we 
didn't so much. Holy cow. That's making my hand hurt. Damn. All right. was a little straighter than the other side. Not terribly so, but a little bit. Um, Alright, so on this side. going to take a whole lot off of the um, top here. Just a little bit. Okay. And then down here. Even. No care pin. I'm sure I didn't pin this completely straight either. There's only so much we can do because, you know, the fiber is going to pull your felt base as you're felting through it. So you're going to have it a little bit uneven. There's only so much um, cleaning up we can do on those edges with what we've got and with how we did it. So, are we ready? Moment of truth. And there we are. Now let me get this stuff cut off to the side. So not not bad. Not bad. Um, I don't think it's gonna fit in our frame here though. I think it's gonna be a bit yeah, it's a little bit a little big for our frame actually so I'd have to trim it down a little bit more or just get a different frame but that's you know the basic idea I mean or we could just take the glass out Let's see if what happens if we no it's still gonna be a little bit big but I mean, that's going to be your the basic idea. And, uh, oh, let's get that pulled up a little bit more. So, yeah. I mean, I'm not sure what color frame would really work better with that. Maybe a really light brown or maybe a white would look a little bit better. But, um, the bend back our brads in here so we can get this to sit a little bit flatter. 
I mean, yeah, like we could like trim up our bottom a little bit more. You you lose a little bit more of the the blue in the sky, or you know you can just go to a slightly bigger frame with a mat to cover up the the remainder gaps on there. But not bad, not bad at all. Um, these ones are a little bit harder for me to sign, so um, I'll just. I can sign a little piece of, uh, of um, paper and attach it to the back somewhere. But um, yeah, so not bad. Not exactly like Bob's, but you know what? It was it was a valiant effort, nonetheless. And um, you know, not an exact duplicate but still not terrible um next week we'll be starting an um we'll be starting the tutorial for blue moon which is episode two and we can take a sneak peek at that one down in the corner here of course we're gonna get an ad so as soon as the ad pops off here Oh, thank you. Like, we definitely tried. Of course, it's not going to be another ad. Uh, we definitely tried. I left the tree out because I just I didn't think it was going to work with the space that we had. And it just looked like it was going to be a bit much. Um, so, episode two, the finished one, is going to look something like that maybe I don't know we might be getting a little over ambitious with this one we'll see oh. we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes um, I think we can do it like I, I feel like we can I don't see why we can't. Yes, it is very blue. Um, ours will probably not look exactly like his because, you know, shades of blue and stuff. But um, I have some blue that I think we can make work. We'll, we'll see. I think we can pull off the idea of it. Let me put it that way. I think we can definitely pull off the idea. So, um, so yeah, that'll be what we'll start next week. But yeah, I mean, this didn't come out too bad. It's, it's laying funny because of the frame, but yeah, there we go. But yeah, I mean, we got our edges mostly even. Now, we might be doing it a little bit smaller than this one. Not by much. I have a template now for a proper 8x10 template, so I'll stick that on a new piece of felt and see how... How close I can get that lined out and uh, you know we'll see what happens but um, this was fun it was different and it did give us some new challenges to try to work around and figure out and so I'm pretty pretty happy overall with uh, with this guy and um, we'll probably Put this one up on the Etsy store. Uh, it's not gonna be shipped framed though because I'm worried about the glass breaking because um, you know postal service isn't all that gentle with how they do things so um, we'll, we'll probably put this one up on the, the Etsy shop. I uh, haven't figured out how much we're gonna charge for it yet. Um, we'll see. I gotta look around and get an idea of price ranges of what other people are charging. If I see anything close to this up, I, I kind of have an idea of what I'm price point I'm thinking of, but we'll see. So I know today was a little bit shorter, but hey, we're kind of done. Um, so like I said, next week, next Sunday, we'll start the new one. 
We'll start on episode two of this tutorial series. Um, we have some interesting ones coming up. Um, so, um, bubbling stream, we should be able to do um, no problem. That shouldn't be an issue. Sorry, I somehow managed to lift it. No, I want the dot. Thank you. Um, like, damn it, Bob. Like that one, I think we can do no problem. A lot of green. A lot of green. A lot of green and mustard. Um, Winter night, I think, is going to be a bit of a challenge. Um, just because. I think we can do it, though. A challenge, yes, but I think we can pull that off or at least the idea of it um the this one has the covered bridge that he did um distant hills might be um might be a challenge for us because we might have to to fuss with the colors on that one because um, it's it's a lot of the same color I don't know if we'll be able to do that one we're gonna try I think but our colors are probably going to be a little different than his just because of, you know, the restraints that we have with fiber um, and the color palette that I have available to me. Um, covered bridge, I think, is going to be fine. Dang it, ads. Dang it, YouTube and your ads. Um, So there's definitely some some interesting stuff coming. Like that one we should be able to do, no problem whatsoever. That one probably is going to be kind of fun. Um, I thought there was two we were going to be skipping. It might have been Distant Hills I was thinking about skipping. Um, Quiet Inlet also looks fun if we can get the ad out of there. Like that one we should be able to do without any trouble whatsoever. Um, Night Light. This was the one I was like, oh, this is another black canvas. And this was the one I realized, oh shit, I didn't grab orange. Um, but I have some orange in a limited amount in the other um, fiber stuff, so I think we can do it. I think we can. It's going to be a fun one to attempt, I think. Um, Old mill should be fine. The campfire one we're not going to be able to do. Um, it's just, it's too much of the same color. If we, if he'll stop talking so we can get a head on shot of it. It's hard to see from this angle because um, there's a bit of a glare on it. 
but I just, I don't think... Like, there's, it's all pretty much one dominant color in there. I mean, I know there's more than one color, but there's a dominant color tone in there, and I don't have those shades to begin with, um, but I just don't think I can pull it off to give it justice. Maybe at some point we can try it if I get the right, um, the right yarn shades, maybe, but uh, I just don't know because with the paint you can add a little bit more of subtle shift and tone. With us, it would be pretty, pretty drastic separations. Like it would look like an old, um, unblended paint by number in oil, basically because we'd have like rough color sections in there. I'm, I'm hesitant. Uh, well, number one, we can't do this one this time around because I just don't have the colors for it. Um, but I, that one looks like a ginormous headache for this, this style of, um, of medium. Maybe someday we'll come back and try it or I might try it off stream, but I don't know. Um, Rustic Barn, we should be able to do. Oh, I had the thing gone. You guys didn't get to see it. I'm talking about nothing. Um, let's go back to the campfire. So, I forgot I had dropped it during the ad. Um, yeah, I just, I don't, I don't think we can get that one done. Um, there's just so much. I'm trying to get the text out of there. But, um, there, there's just so much of the same color. It's going to be hard to, um, to, to pull that off with this. I just don't think we can do it where it's, gonna look anything remotely like what we're going for um that one's a lot easier to do in paint than I think it's gonna be in this so I think we're just gonna skip that one um it, it's it there's a there's a lot happening there with a limited amount of colors and I just don't think we're gonna be able to get it to look right um rustic barn we should get with no problem I guess I could add out of there I mean that one's fine that should be okay um, not a not a big deal on that one um, and then there's hidden lake So I was thinking there was two we were skipping, and I think it was probably Distant Hills and the Campfire. Um, we'll try Distant Hills, I think. It's just our color is going to be a bit different than, um, than his. Now, I actually have a purple to do this one. Um, so I'm not sure how we're going to get the, the separation in there because this feels like it's a different shade of purple. Oh, there's a... Oh, no. oh. We might have to try to do some... This has like got tones of blue in there, so... I, this, uh, this one's going to be a little tricky. But I think we can get that one figured out. Um, And then Peaceful Waters is the last one. Now it looks like Steve is painting this one. It looked like it was one of their weird, um, damn it. Let me just get rid of the ad. Um, it looked like it was one of their weird end of season question and answer sessions. Can we see the painting? Can we see the painting? Can we see the painting please? 
I think this one was on the uh, their Twitch marathon last night, honestly. I, I just I want to see that. Thank you. That one we... Steve really phoned that one in. I'm sorry, but he did. I've seen him do better than that. Um, but I think we can do something similar to this. I've seen Steve do a lot better than that one. But, I mean, this was like a demo question answer one, but I've seen him do a lot better. Like this, what, what is this? Like that's, that's very strange down there, but, but um, yeah, I mean that one we can do fine. So maybe we'll only skip the one. I'm thinking, We'll, we'll see how Distant Hills goes. No promises on how that one's going to turn out. But, you know, we have a plan for for a while. And, um, and yeah, so let's see who we've got streaming that we can go say hello to. Oh, Zorts is streaming. We'll go say hi to Zorts. I didn't realize he was streaming today. Um, so it looks like Zorts is doing um, wrestling. So don't forget to follow in all of the places and things and stuffs. Um, I will let you guys know on Twitter what we're doing when this week. Because uh, I gotta look at the weather because I don't want to lose a challenger to a thunderstorm. Um, and they're calling for thunderstorms I think on Wednesday. I have to double check. Um, we'll see. We'll see. If it's going to be storming on Wednesday, then we'll do Parkitect on Wednesday, and we'll do um, WoW on Thursday. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, so I will let you guys know. Just keep an eye on, on the Twitter channel, and um, we'll, we'll play that by ear. But I do thank you for popping in and hanging out with me for a bit this afternoon. And... We wrapped up this project and on to the next one. So you guys have a great night and let's go see Zorts the Goblin.